What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, the place where you learn how all good theology is practical theology. And today is question and answer day. And we have an interesting question that I am excited about answering for you. The question is this, should I be cremated when I die? And I love that question, and I believe that there is a biblical response to that question, albeit I'll say in the issue of transparency that there's going to be implications that we are going to deduce from text in order to give us this answer from Scripture. But the nature of the question is drawing us into a branch of theology which is known as anthropology. Anthropology is the study of mankind, and anthropology gives us the answer as to what the Bible says that we should be doing with our bodies. And so when you ask a question like, should I be cremated, you're asking a question that is anthropological in nature. And we want to answer this through the lens of what the Bible says about anthropology. So I would give four reasons as to why an individual should not be cremated when they die. And I believe that we can deduce these reasons and these answers right from the biblical text. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first reason why a person should not opt for cremation, should not be cremated when they die, is because the Lord is for the body and the body is for the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verses 13 tells us that the Lord is for the body and the body is for the Lord. God has created the body. God owns our bodies. Our bodies are His possession and he is pro body. He is for the body. And so since God is for the body, we should care for the bodies that God has given to us. Romans chapter 8 verses 23, the apostle Paul goes so far as to say that creation is waiting the adoption as sons, us, adoption, uh, us, adoption as sons and he goes, he says this, the redemption of our bodies. So our souls, when we believe in Christ, our souls are saved, but redemption is not consummated until our bodies are united with our spirits. And that goes for those of us who have died or the transformation of our bodies once our bodies are glorified. And so the first reason I would give as to why we should not be cremated is because the Lord is for the body. The second reason that I would give as to why we should not be cremated when we die is because Burning bodies in scripture usually, typically, I mean in almost every instance that I found where bodies were burned in scripture, it typically denotes a defilement or a desecration of the body. Second Kings chapter 23 verses 16 through 20 it gives us this part of a narrative about a great king by the name of Josiah. And Josiah brought about reformations to the nation, uh, to, to, uh, to the nation, and so to, to, to God's people. And so as Josiah is bringing about these reformations, uh, he goes through and he digs up the bones of priests that had dishonored God, and he burns those bones on the altar as a as an act of defilement. And this was prophesied that he was going to do this in 1 Kings chapter 13, verses 1 through 2. So even before he comes on the scene, Josiah is prophesied about, and it is said that he's going to do this exact thing, that he's going to burn the bones of the priest that had defiled or that had dishonored God. Uh, also, Joshua chapter 7, uh, there was an individual by the name of Achan. When Joshua goes out uh, to conquer the land in order to possess the land, uh, he is given specific instructions that he is not to take anything that has been devoted to destruction, devoted to the band. And there was a man in the camp by the name of Achan, and Achan took some things upon one conquest uh, that was devoted to the band. And in Joshua chapter 7, verses 25, this individual, along with his whole, all of his family, was stoned and they were burned. It was the highest act, one of the highest acts of, of showing disrespect to an individual was to burn the body. The third reason why I would counsel someone, tell someone not 
to cremate the body is because bodies that are buried are demonstrating that they have a future hope. They have a future hope. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 42 through 45 tells us about this future hope that, that bodies are sown corrupt, but they are raised in incorruption, that they are sown in weakness, uh, but they are raised in power, that bodies are sown in dishonor, but they're raised in glory, that they are sown as physical bodies, but they are raised in, they are raised spiritual bodies. And what that means, spiritual bodies, is that they are bodies that are now dominated by the spirit. Right now we live in a cursed creation where our bodies are pretty much dominated by the flesh. Even though the even though the um, outward man is perishing, the inward man is is being renewed day by day. So things are going in reverse. We praise God for that, don't we? Uh, but but the bodies that are, bodies that are buried demonstrate and can demonstrate and can preach to others that listen. We have a future hope that though this body is being sown, that one day this body will rise again. The final reason that I would give. As I'm answering this question, why should I, should I be cremated? And I'm telling you that you should not be cremated. The reason that I would give you for not being cremated is the fact that the body of our Lord, the body of Jesus Christ, was in fact buried. It was buried. Consider John chapter 19, verses 38 through 39. There were two figures. There was a man by the name of Joseph of Arimathea. Joseph of Arimathea was a rich man. He was a wealthy man. And there was another man by the name of Nicodemus. And Nicodemus, both Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea, they take the body of Jesus. In fact, in the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 27, verses 57, it is Joseph of Arimathea that goes to Pilate and he asks for the body of Jesus. He asks for the body so that he could take care of the body, even though uh, Jesus had died. He wanted to take care of the body of the Lord. And so he and Joseph, they go, they take the body. Joseph has uh, the uh, spices to anoint the body of the Lord, and they're going to bury him. They're going to show Christ's dignity by burying his body. And we know what happened at the end of that story, don't we? The body of Jesus that was sown, that was buried in that tomb, was raised three days later, and it was raised in glory. And it is, it is a, as Paul would call it in Corinthians, it is, Jesus is the first fruits. He, he's the first fruits. First fruits means that there is more to come, that everybody who has died in the Lord, everybody that has been buried uh, and that has died in Christ, will one day have the same thing as in terms of the flesh of Christ, in terms of the body of Christ, will have the same thing that Jesus had when he rose from the dead. In other words, they will have a glorified body. It is the Apostle John that says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 that we don't know what we will be, but we know that we will be like him. And so we, we see uh, in these texts, we have four reasons as to why you should not be cremated when you die. And the first reason that we learned on today as to why you should not be cremated is because the body is for the Lord. Secondly, bodies that are burned typically demonstrate that, and in, it typically demonstrate, scripturally speaking, uh, somebody, uh, uh, typically speaking, demonstrates a defilement or desecration. Thirdly, the reason why a body should not be burned is because it takes away, in one sense, the, the future hope. Now, when I say that, I'm not saying that just because a person is burned uh, or cremated uh, means that all hope is lost because God knows where every piece and particle of an individual is. And in that great resurrection day, he'll put all of that back together again. Even the sea, John says, and uh, even the sea in John chapter five, Jesus says, will give Give up their dead. So God knows where everybody is, even if a person has been burned. But and fourthly, uh, we, we've learned that we don't cremate the body because, or we don't burn the body because the body of our Lord was buried. God, Jesus Christ, uh, God the Son, he was, he was cared for in his death. 
So I hope that these four reasons were helpful for you as we looked at anthropology and answered the question today, should I be cremated when I die? Listen, I thank you for tuning in to my channel. I'm so thankful for every single subscriber that has, that has subscribed to this channel. I'm thankful uh, that the Lord has given me an opportunity to teach. And so if you find this content helpful, then please don't hesitate to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if this is a resource for you, share it with somebody else. But in the meantime, until we come back together again, remember this, that all good theology is practical theology. And I will see you next time.